Yo, what's going on? The big guy ride back here. Did I just mess up my name? I just fucking messed up my name in the opening. Son of a bitch! I'm, I'm the big guy ride back. Sitting out here at St. Charles, guys, I'm getting ready to go to the airport. I needed to get some breakfast. It's, it's, this is new for me, eating on the road here as eating more primarily plant-based for the son of a bitches out there that don't read my posts that think I'm I'm just not eating animal meats right now. I am doing some eggs and doing some cheese as you're gonna see today because I know there's gonna still be some dumbass comments and I encourage all of them. And just show your dumbassness to the world as I just made up a word that doesn't exist. Um, but I, and for the, those of you, your phone is crooked. My phone is crooked and, and I don't have my dash cam. So I'm on the road and I didn't bring because they glued to my car and my face is fucking crooked. So just deal with it, okay? <sighs> Today, guys, we are going to be doing the Dunkin' Donuts Beyond Sausage breakfast sandwiches that I just discovered yesterday. Look at the happiness. Legitimately look at the happiness. And because uh, it was, I, I've eating on the road, but like I, I, I did a video earlier on Taco Bell's be, uh, seven layer uh, vegetarian burritos. It's, it's not hard to I'm find food, but I'm trying to find and like I could count the calories still. And I've, I've like, I'm finding ways just not to eat animal protein. They don't make it fucking easy for us guys. Us, us meat eaters out there in here trying to just make our lives a little better, live our best lives. So today though, guys, this is the egg, cheese, and beyond sausage. And um, I'm gonna go on in on this thing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna be feeding time, bitches. I mean, look at it. And I know there's some of you that don't understand the whole plant-based, they're like, why did you give up meat to eat plant-based stuff that tastes like meat? Well, because it's fucking good, idiots. And we're trying not to eat animal protein because there's a lot of different reasons. And if you read books on factory farming, like I've talked about and different things, and I'm not against it. I just think maybe we're not supposed to eat it, eat it as much as we do. And I'm doing, I'm getting lab work done in, in a couple months uh, total. And then I'm getting again at four months and six months. And I'm gonna see uh, the changes that I've seen. I've already physically seen my metabolism is, is sped, sped up. Speed, speed up. I'm really all over the place today, guys in a different location. I'm not used to this. I'm in St. Charles. It's a gloomy, gloomy day. You can see behind me the weather. It's cloud. You can't even see out the windows. My eyes, oh fuck, look at those eyes. How can you say no to those girls, huh? Okay, easy big guy. But uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do this for a while. My metabolism has increased. I've noticed uh, my muscle density has increased with my workouts getting more intense and also my conditioning has increased cardio output um, in over a month of doing this. It's been 32 days, I believe. So, la -la 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 -la. feeding time. Look at my bite. That's what food reviewers do. We put our food up to the, well, like, Look at my bite marks, everybody. I also smell my fucking sandwich. Good job. Mm. It's funny, if I was in Vegas doing this, I would be a loser, but here in St. Charles, I feel like a winner. It's weird how that works. And this does have egg and cheese on it. I'm just not eating animal meat. Again, reminding somebody that's just tuning in at 4.06 that wants to just be a smart ass. Go ahead. I love smart asses. I'm a smart ass. Mm. I'm also drinking every morning. I do my wake up unlimited energy, the most powerful energy drink pre workout you're ever going to find. And it doesn't have any artificial colors or sweeteners, just like everything else in Feed Me More Nutrition. No crash either. We use Asian ginseng. We use a very nice amount of caffeine. Yo, Himbine, great for the erections, guys. I don't know if we could say that on YouTube, but I just did. It really is, though, great for the erections. Women, you don't have to worry about that problem. Well, in 2020, actually, a lot of you do too, but...
This is really good. Mm, man in his vehicle. Eating fake meat. Plant-based meat. Oh. Go ahead and you guys, why don't you guys find out how much soy is in this one? I know a lot of people I wanted to, they read the studies on the Whopper, Beyond Whopper. All I know is the Beyond Meat from the store is non-soy, non-GMO. That's when I eat when I'm at home. So if you know I do a little food review and I get a little bit of uh, soy estrogen in my blood, fuck it, I could probably use it to balance me out. I'm so goddamn manly. <laughs> uh, I need more information. I didn't realize I'm sitting in the parking lot. There's a massage parlor. There's a man walking into it at 8.20 in the morning. Looks like a businessman. Looks like he's maybe going in for a little early, early morning sunshine rub down. Hmm. Really early to go for a massage, wearing your business attire that you look like you're going to work in. I say that because I know. My book, Broken Bones and Happy Endings, my autobiography, which I'm going to, I've been, I've worked on it for quite a bit. I'm going to start it back up. I had to stop because I was writing the WWE part, got me really pissed off, really fucking chapped my ass. So I had to take a break. I think I'm mentally able to go back now. It's tough to relive some of that shit. You guys have no idea. I've forgotten a lot of it. But deep down in my core, it still exists. Tell all book. I just tell it like it is. I'm going to talk about my massage parlor run in Tampa, Florida. It's a really funny story how it all started. But man, it started. Broken Bones and Happy Endings. Not a bad name for a book, huh? <laughs> mm. Fucking Duncan. Really came through on these. Guys, this is... You're gonna have to wait to get to my full review at the end of this. Mm. I gotta drive an hour to the airport still. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just talk while I eat. Ah. So damn good. That's my pink lemonade. We have mango candy and green apple as well. I'm actually here in St. Charles, just finalizing a business deal with Feed Me More Nutrition. There's going to be the new headquarters. Go figure, the headquarters of Feed Me More Nutrition is just right outside CM Punk's fucking hometown. <laughs> My last match in WWE was in Chicago. The fucking history I have with this place, and I never wanted it, but here it is. Here it is. Maybe I could sponsor Phil. Put some fucking muscle on that body. <laughs> nah, that won't even work. Mm. I'm kidding, guys. Relax. Some of you see I'm punk marks. I'll never understand you. I don't understand him either, Phil. Fucking who cares? <laughs> oh. Done. I do have one more in there. I'm going to eat on the way to the airport. Just because, guys, I need to get out there. I don't want to miss my flight. Dunkin' Donuts Beyond uh, Meat Sausage uh, Breakfast Sandwiches, guys. That was probably as close to tasting like a real breakfast um, sausage sandwich. Out of everything I've had... And I've, like, I've seen comments, some people are like, do you not like, do you ever not like anything? I love food, guys. <clears throat> so maybe I'm not the best food. I'm very positive. I tend to look for the good in anything. So, I, five stars. I can't, like, that That was, I think, as good as anything I've had. And, um, two thumbs up. Absolutely delicious. And it's not fully, uh, full vegan, obviously, with the egg and the cheese on there. But if uh, you're starting out and you're not eating animal, excuse me, oh man, animal protein, 
burped up a little plant there. Um, if you're not eating animal protein, this is, stuff like this is actually good. Like, it's a good way to ease people in, I feel like, as you're adjusting. Because you, eating at home, home, though, is a much different thing than eating on the road. My thing is, at the end of the day, if you have a goal and your goal is not to eat animal, animal meat or anything, you don't have to, you, there's options everywhere. Go to Taco Bell, you can get rice and bean burritos. You know, is it fucking ideal? No, but at the end of the day, if you count your calories and you keep your calories pretty close to what you normally keep them, it, it's, you're, you, you're going to be all right. So, and I'm not saying it, it's fucking the, the healthiest option out there because clearly it's nothing's the same as cooking real food at home, but you got to make do with what you can do and where you're at. There's a car pulling up. Yeah, I'm just doing a little fucking food review, ma'am. Fucking a YouTuber now. Ryback TV, check it out. Subscribe, turn on the fucking notifications. Got a few things going on. Feed me more nutrition conversation with the big guy. I'm an investor as well. I do some stocks. Got a townhouse we're selling if you want to fucking adventures in Vegas. <clears throat> Former professional wrestler probably trying to go back and be badass once again. I feel good about myself now, guys. Well, that's feeding time. Thank you for watching. Check out my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback. Subscribe, turn on notifications, par favor. And uh, check out Feed Me More Nutrition, available on feedmemore.com, Amazon. Guys, big, big news too as well. With the company that I'm working with out here, we will eventually be available on Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and Amazon Mexico, mi amigos. Well, I would say within hopefully the next six months, four to six months. And uh, they're able to do the labeling for those individual countries. And this is everything I have worked for for three years and been patient and been told no and a bunch of bullshit. And the floodgates will be opening and Feed Me More Nutrition is going to become available in more and more places. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Treat human being good. Treat human being good. That's the message. Treat human being good. Human beings good. Return your shopping carts. Hold a door open for somebody today. Smile without being a pervert. And, uh, feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.